During my first playthrough of Chrono Cross, I had no idea why trap elements existed. I didn't know how to use them or what they were even used for. No one ever told me that it's by using trap elements that get you the best elements in the game. So in this video, that's exactly what you're going to learn. How to use trap elements the right way, which will get you the best element in the game. There's even a very specific trick that I use to get these high elements before the game intends you to have them. But first, let's go over what trap elements are. Traps alone don't do any damage and they don't buff you in any way until the enemy uses the element you've attempted to trap. For a trap to be successful, you need to lay the trap down, and when the enemy uses the element that corresponds with your trap, you get to keep that element. And as a nice bonus, the enemy's turn is lost, and you won't take any damage from the spell they cast it. So for instance, at the Hydra Marsh in Another World, this enemy right here, the Centipede, uses Earthquake. Now it only uses Earthquake when the entire field is yellow. For now, let's lay the trap down. And when the field becomes yellow, Centipede will cast Earthquake, which will get trapped. As you see here, the Centipede lost its turn after trying to cast Earthquake because we trapped it. Now, when we head to our elements, you can see that we have the Earthquake element, which at this point in the game, Earthquake is really strong. It beats Meteor Shower by a pretty good amount. This specific situation is a bit more complex. You're probably thinking that you're going to need to know all the enemies that use trappable elements and when the enemy specifically uses them, but that's not the case. Remember, there's a trick that I'm going to be showing you that'll make this way easier for you. Just remember you can buy traps over at Marbule in another world. The first time you get here, I would suggest buying multiples of all traps. If you have the money, buying three of everything is fine. Maybe only two for the summon traps. The most important to buy here are definitely the summon traps, which are Red Wolf, Golem, Sonya, and Mothership. Other important traps to buy would be Black Hole, Free Fall, Holy Light, and Supernova. And at least one Diminish. Diminish is extremely good, so make sure you get at least one. But again, if you can, just buy three of everything. Now, before I go into the trick I talked about earlier, keep this in mind. Always, always, always save before you try to trap elements. The last thing you want is an unsuccessful trap and then realize that you don't have any more traps at all. I've experienced this a couple of times, so learn from my mistakes. One part of the trick to getting these elements easily comes from Sprig. When she uses specific doppelgangs, she can use elements that are trappable. You get doppelgangs from Sprig by killing the enemy with her. She needs to be the one that deals the finishing blow to the enemy, and she can do this with either elements or regular attacks. The bottom line is that she needs to get the finishing blow. The big trick to getting the strongest elements in the game is to fight Couscous enemies in Shadow Forest Homeworld. When you use an element against a Couscous, they will cast it against you, which gives you the chance to trap it. So using the Couscous trick, you can get pretty much all elements that you want if you've learned the correct doppelgangs for Sprig. I'll show you how that works here. First, we need to set this up. With Lynx, I have the Sea Swallow equipped. Now, this is his first weapon, and it's really weak. You don't want him to be killing the enemies, so take off any accessories that increase his attack. Now for our elements, we need to make sure that the trap is equipped. So in this case, we're going for Black Hole. We're also going to equip Diminish at level four. This is vital to the setup because Sprig is gonna cast a powerful element and we want her to do as little damage as possible so the Couscous can survive the spell. Now when it comes to the battle, the more Couscous there are, the better. Ideally, we want to get an enemy formation that has the Cassowary in it, since he can take more damage than the Couscous. To start the round, I use Lynx to build to level 4, then use Diminish. 
Next, I use Sprig to build level 5 in Doppelgang Total Chaos. You can meet up with Total Chaos at the Temporal Vortex where you got links for the first time. Now, because Harl has the trap equipped, we now build her to level 6 and use the black hole trap. Now, I'm going to use Total Chaos and build to level 8 by only using level 1 attacks. Again, don't use level 3 because you don't want to kill any enemies. Because it's a level 8, this takes a couple of rounds to do. Finally, after he's built up to level 8, use Black Hole plus 2. Because I use Diminish, the damage of the Black Hole shouldn't do too much damage. It'll leave the Couscous alive so that they can use Black Hole on us. So from here, I just defend and wait for the Couscous to use Black Hole. And look at that! Successful trap of one of the best elements in the game. And that's the earliest you can get it. So now that you know what to do, rinse and repeat this process over and over again as you see fit. On the screen, I've listed the doppelgangs you might want, showing you what monster to get it from, as well as what element it'll use, and where to find the specific enemy. And remember, for Sprig to successfully learn the doppelgang, she needs to get the finishing blow on the enemy. So with all that said, keep in mind that you're not going to be able to trap Holy Light or Ultra Nova from a doppelgang. You'll need to fight bosses for those. Worst comes to worst, you'll find them in a chest somewhere throughout the game. For Holy Light, Son of a Gun back at Fort Dragonia uses it. And if you didn't get it there, Miguel is a perfect candidate for Holy Light since he uses it so often. It's ingrained in his attack pattern, which makes him perfect for trapping. For Ultra Nova, I like to get it from Mega Starkey. You need to make sure he's at low health where he's slumping down and eventually he'll use it. If you don't get it from him, you can always get it from the Sky Dragon. Again, you'll need to damage the Sky Dragon to where it's slumping over and eventually she'll use it. One final tip, if you're going to try to trap from Miguel, Mega Starkey, or Sky Dragon, use Diminish to take less damage while you're waiting for them to finally use it. And that is all you need to know about trap elements in Chrono Cross. I know that I didn't go over trapping summons, and that's because the way to get summons is a bit more precise and specific. But, if you want to know where all the summons are and how to trap them correctly, the video will be right here when it's uploaded.